okay, y'all might want to get in on this drama because Marcus Jordan just got dumped by Larsa Pippen and he is not handling it well at all. Larsa and Marcus have been together for a hot minute now, but the relationship has run its course. Word on the streets is that Larsa dumped Marcus because she realized that he was not financially stable enough for her and this set Marcus off and he read her for filth, accusing her of using and dumping him. Y'all, this looks like it's about to be a very messy breakup because these two have been throwing shots at each other online and child even Michael Jordan is jumping into the situation and shading Larsa? Anyone could have seen this breakup coming from a mile off, but apparently Marcus is not one of such people because according to reports, he was blindsided by the breakup and he has been hurting because of it. To refresh y'all's memory about this situationship, Larsa and Marcus started hanging out in December 2022 and there were rumors that there was something going on between them but it rubbed fans the wrong way for all the wrong reasons. For one, there's the massive age difference between them because Marcus is only 33 while Larsa is 49 pushing 50. Now I know that Marcus is an adult and he can do whatever he wants to but still it was weird. What made it even creepier are the rumors that Larsa allegedly knew Marcus when he was a kid. See Marcus's dad, the OG Michael Jordan, played with Larsa's ex-husband Scotty Pippen when Marcus was just a boy. Larsa was already married to Scotty at the time so people found it weird that she would be dating Marcus when she had known him as a boy. According to the timeline, Marcus would have been about six or seven years old and Larsa would be about 22 or 23 years old when they would have run into each other. So the thought of Larsa being intimately attracted to someone that she first got to know at that age gave people the ick. However, Larsa was quick to jump in and defend herself, claiming that even though Michael Jordan and Scotty played on the same team, she never really mixed with the other families, so she didn't know Marcus when he was a child. She left a comment on the shade room denying that she had known Marcus all those years ago. She said, I just met him three years ago. I never knew him or his family. I was 21 years old and in college when Scotty played that one year with MJ and we weren't friends with them like everyone thinks. But it kind of came across like she was just trying to save face because she was getting dragged for filth on social media and everyone was accusing her of being a creep. It was so distressing to her that she went on Tamron Hall's show where she stuck to her claims and how she hadn't met Marcus when he was a child, claiming that they had met four years ago at a party and had befriended each other. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we, we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years at where? At a party. Then? At a party. I, like an L.A. party. But again, people didn't buy this because she herself admitted that when they first started dating, she had gone over and beyond to hide the relationship, even going as far as to save his number under a fake name in her phone. She said, I could never really put you under your name in my phone, so I had you under Mark Jacob. I didn't want anyone to know when you called me. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the relationship started off on a good foot. And even when they decided to get more public with their friends, they still kept it away from the public. The only reason we found out about this was that someone in her circle blabbed about it to the press. The insider said, Larsa and Marcus Jordan are casually hanging out. The two have a lot of the same friends in common, so they have been around one another a lot and enjoy hanging out. They are having fun together, they also added. Larsa's divorce from Scotty was finalized at the beginning of this year and she's enjoying that freedom. But even with this, they still tried to play coy and when Larsa was asked about the relationship, this is what she said. People say you're dating. I have a lot of friends. I mean, I'm very social. I, I was married for 23 years. Like, this is the time for me to really, like, hone in on my relationships. This was quickly proven to be a lie because only a couple of weeks later, they were spotted making out in the streets and paparazzi pictures of them went viral. People didn't have high hopes for the relationship and they were predicted to break up within a couple of months because they thought that it was probably just a cheap flame. But then the relationship lasted longer than we expected, but an insider claimed that things were great with them saying, they are dating and happy, they're having fun. She's trying her best to keep it quiet and not make a big deal out of it. They see each other at least a few times a week. Of course, the attention quickly shifted to Marcus's father, Michael, and how he felt about his son dating the ex-wife of one of the biggest ops. Everyone expected him to be furious, but Larsa shut that down, claiming that she had met the Jordans and that everything was fine with the relationship and accepted her with open arms. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan, and what did they say about the relationship? You know, I don't really, I mean, of course, I recently have met, you know, I've recently been hanging out with them. 
Um, but I don't really want to talk about them. I feel like it's not about, you know, my parents or his parents. They're all happy. Our whole family's fine. But to nobody's surprise, Larsa was making that up, probably in a bid to get people to be more accepting of her relationship. She knew that almost everyone didn't approve of the relationship, but if she told everyone that MJ was on board, then she could get people off her back about the relationship being weird. However, she forgot one thing. MJ is not the type to keep his mouth shut about stuff like this. So when French paparazzi asked if he approved of Marcus and Larsa's relationship, he said this. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larsa pipping together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? This was kind of humiliating for Larsa and she got dragged for lying about having MJ's stamp of approval. But Marcus was quick to rush to her defense and he spoke to ET saying, I think my family just wants to see me happy. And so as long as I'm happy, they're happy with, you know, where I'm living. Everybody had an opinion at first. I think there was some shock and interest early on, but I think that was the whole point of us trying to spend some family time together. Marcus was clearly head over heels in love with her and he kept defending her to anyone. There were even rumors that he could have been planning to propose to her. Yeah, he was just that into her. But the next thing we knew, breakup rumors started flying around about them breaking up and it was confirmed that Larsa was the one who dumped Marcus because he wasn't as rich as she thought he was. According to a source, Larsa needs a man that's a bit more mature and financially stable. Marcus was fun, but Larsa is looking for someone that she can build a life with. Well, Marcus clearly was not that man, and it doesn't look like the breakup was friendly because they've both been posting shady stuff on social media, like this one where Larsa had a poll asking if her friends needed to unfollow Marcus after their breakup. Well, sources are claiming that Marcus is not handling the breakup well, and he has been on a downward spiral ever since. He is crushed that Larsa blindsided him like that, and he now believes that she was using him all along only to dump him when she realized that he wasn't as rich as she expected. According to an insider, Marcus has been flipping out on her, accusing her of using and dumping him. And just to troll her, he posted a picture of him and his dad, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty sleek way to clap back at her. Someone commented, I need Larsa to stop with these cryptic messages about their breakup. At her big age, it's childish and cringy. I'm not surprised though, she practically centered her whole existence around Marcus and behaved like she never had a man before. Embarrassing. And this other person tweeted, Larsa is a middle-aged woman who altered her entire being to be accepted by people who hate her. Her behavior is embarrassing and sad. She built her life around Marcus, but he's young, they're on different paths. It's time she resets and finds herself. Her kids are watching. But I wanna know how y'all feel about this drama. Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.